Hello, my friends. It's Angela, the Inquisitive Farm Wife. And today, we're just going to take an easy day together, and I'm going to bring you along as I wash eggs. I know, it's a simple task, but it's something that needs to be done on a regular basis, and it's just part of the farm life. I'm part of the Every Bit Counts Challenge, put on over by Jessica at Three Rivers Homestead. If you're not familiar with her channel, I'll try to make sure that I link it down below. She's been doing this challenge for several years now where you take every single day for the month of August. Well, actually, you kind of get to set your own rules on how you do this, but the basic goal is that you're trying to take as many days as you can for the month of August and get stuff put up for winter. So some days you're going to be really, really productive. Other days it's going to be just small tasks and that's okay too. Today is one of those days. I'm just going to take the eggs that I've gathered over the last few days and we're going to wash them together and package them. And I'll tell you a little bit of information about it. Because you're probably thinking to yourself, well, are you going to freeze them or freeze dry them? Well, no, not today. I do have videos on freeze drying eggs. I have froze eggs before, but I wasn't as happy with the product in the end. I find that when you separate the whites and the yolks, I got a little bit better of a product. I don't necessarily like frozen yolks. I've never water glassed because when I thought I was going to, I got my freeze dryer and there really wasn't a reason. So I'll put that video in somewhere, at least in the description box. I'm gonna clean my station. I've got my YouTube going with one of my friends listening to their videos while I work and talk with you. I wanna tell you a little bit about why I'm telling you about refrigerated eggs because did you know you can keep them in the refrigerator for months? There are several countries out there that actually don't even refrigerate their eggs. I have been known to do that for my own personal use when the eggs are really clean. But we've had some rain and they're not as clean now. And so I'm going to wash them. And I also do sell some of my eggs in my farm stand and at the farmer's market. And there are rules about how we have to do that. We have to use a soapy solution and a bleach solution. Um, I'll insert that somewhere too. But the bottom line here is, did you know that eggs can last a really, really long time in the refrigerator? Yeah, they really truly can. Actually, the store-bought eggs that you get are usually more than one month old by the time you actually get them into your house. If you throw your eggs once the date on the carton is passed, you may be wasting perfectly good eggs. With proper storage, eggs will last easily three to five weeks in the fridge and about a year in the freezer. The longer an egg is stored, the more quality declines, making it less springy and more runny. However, older eggs are still good for several uses. They're ideal for boiling and can be used for omelets, scrambled eggs, baking egg dishes and such. If you're not sure how an egg has been how long it's been in the fridge, just crack it open on a clean plate and check and make sure it smells good before you use it. If you are purchasing eggs from the store, did you know that the sell by date or use by date can be 21 to 30 days after the packaging date and they're still very fresh. So even if they're past the expiration date, don't hesitate to use them. In the United States, salmonella is treated externally. Before eggs are sold, they undergo a sterilization process. They're washed in hot soapy water and sprayed with a disinfectant, which kills any bacteria on the shell. Us home users have to use a bleach solution. A handful of other nations, including Australia, Japan, Scandinavian countries, treat eggs in the similar way. This method is highly effective at killing bacteria found on eggshells. However, it doesn't kill the bacteria that may already be present in the egg, which often is what makes people sick. The washing process may also remove the cuticle of the egg, which is a thin layer of eggshell that helps protect it. 
If the cuticle is removed, any bacteria that comes in contact with the egg after sterilization will be more easily able to penetrate the shell and contaminants of the egg. While refrigeration does not kill bacteria, it reduces your risk of sickness by limiting the number of bacteria. It also impedes bacteria from penetrating the eggshell. Nonetheless, there's another important reason that eggs must be refrigerated in the United States. To keep bacteria at a minimum, the Food and Drug Administration requires commercially sold eggs to be stored and transported below 45 degrees. Once eggs have been refrigerated, they must be kept refrigerated to prevent condensation from forming on the shell if they warm up. The moisture makes it easier for bacteria to penetrate the shell. Thus, any commercially produced eggs in the United States should be kept refrigerated. <clears throat> Many European countries do not refrigerate their eggs, even though they experienced the same salmonella epidemic during 1980. While the United States implemented regulations for egg washing and refrigeration, many European countries improved sanitation and vaccinated hens against salmonella to prevent the infection in the first place. For example, after a program in the United Kingdom vaccinated all egg-laying hens against most common strain of this bacterium, the number of salmonella cases in the country dropped to the lowest level in decades. Contrary to the United States, washing and disinfecting eggs is illegal in the European Union. However, Sweden and the Netherlands are exceptions. While this may seem unsanitary to Americans, the egg cuticle and shells left that are left undamaged, functioning as a layer of defense against bacteria. In addition to the cuticle, egg whites also have natural defenses against bacteria, which can help protect the egg for up to three weeks. Therefore, it is considered unnecessary to refrigerate eggs in much of Europe. In fact, European Union recommends that eggs be kept cool, but not refrigerated, in supermarkets to prevent them from warming up and forming condensation during a trip home. Because eggs from the European Union are treated differently than the U.S. ones, it's fine to keep eggs out of the refrigerator in most of Europe as long as you plan to use them soon. So no matter how you decide to take care of your eggs, whether you wash or don't wash, you just want to try to do your best to keep them in a cool, clean environment. And then they will last for weeks or even months. After my eggs are washed and dried, then I go through and I like to package them and I try to make things look pretty because I don't know, why not? And so I choose to take the darker green eggs and the darker brown eggs, put them on each end, work my way towards the middle with the lighter colors. It's just something fun to do because I have such a beautiful array of colors that come from my coop. And then I either before or after putting in, it doesn't matter, I go through with either my phone flashlight or this flashlight and I candle the eggs. All along while I'm washing, I am looking for any damaged eggs that might possibly have any holes where I um, could have done that in the, you know, bringing them up to the house or a chicken could have pecked at it, all sorts of things. But I check for any holes or cracks, but sometimes you just don't see them in the washing process. So I like to take a flashlight and then I check for any of those cracks and I do occasionally see some. I got quite a few today. I must have been a little more rough driving up to the house. And that leads me to the conclusion of this video. Because this is going to be part of the Everbits Challenge, I wanted to explain to you that no, this may not last me until February, but by putting these eggs in storage in just your general hand washing cleaning solution in the refrigerator, I still am going to be able to save this for a little bit longer of a time and enjoy it in weeks or even months to come. Thanks for being here today. I'm not sure what we'll do tomorrow. See you then.